going on? Ooh, a little toasty outside. 99 degrees here, a brisk 99 degrees here in Texas. Yes, brisk 99. Does anybody follow the racing circuit? Neither do I. Hey, wait, my camera's not straight. Yeah, neither do I. But uh, one thing I do follow is every year they have Pikes Peak. Or actually, this year they had the 100th anniversary of the Pikes Peak race. Why would I mention a race, a Pikes Peak race? Why? I'm, I'm excited about, I'm excited about what happened actually. For those who don't know, and you can look it up, uh, there's plenty of videos on YouTube. Victory has entered Pikes Peak. I think this will be their second year in a row. The first year, for those who don't know, they entered what was called, and it's still called, Project 156. Why do they call it that? I don't remember why they call it that. Anyways, Project 156 is a sport bike from Victory. And Roland Sands helped create the chassis and Victory uh, made the motor and the motor is actually in production. It's the Octane engine. Yes, the elusive Octane, which I cannot seem to get a hold of because of the dealers. They're so very, very stingy with it. I don't know if it's because, you know, they're not really getting too many here. So getting a test ride has been ridiculous. I hate it. It seems like I'll never be able to get a test ride. They're all stingy here. That's ridiculous. If I just want to review, anyways, I'll go on a rant some other day. Anyway, so it's that engine. It's the Octane engine, but it is tweaked differently on a sport bike frame. So uh, if you really want to check it out, go ahead and, uh, you know, just YouTube it. Project or Victory Project 156. And uh, you'll be able to see the race. They have uh, last year's race that they posted, which they ended up going down in one of the corners, so they didn't qualify. But uh, this year, it's great. And look, I hit a light. Ooh, sea dews. Those are fun. Water motorcycles. This year, I'm excited about what happened because not only did they enter Project 156, they also entered their electric motorcycle, which uh, I'm not real too excited about electric motorcycles, but you know what? I think my lens is dirty. Let me clean that. I forgot. <laughs> but nonetheless, it is a sport bike. Uh, last year, they, uh, they, they podiumed. I think they got third place last year. I think so, yeah, third place uh, at uh, Isle of Man race. And it, uh, you know, that was their first time racing that motorcycle, electric motorcycle. So this year they put it on Pikes Peak Race, also with Project 156. And what is so great, uh, it was a hard race for them because Victory had the first go. They were, you're number one at the gate, go. And it was early in the morning, and at Pikes Peak, it is very chilly, even at this time of year. And it is wet road conditions, it's nasty. And they finished fast enough. After they finished, and the competitors went after them, they were still in first place. And it was great. Victory had posted one of the fastest times. So Victory, on their electric bike, their electric sport bike, had one of the fastest times of the day. But, and they continued to be the fastest time. They were in first place. And then they had like red flag delays in the race. So what happened was, since there were so many delays, all the real comp competition or the competitors were at the, like the end of the lineup. And Victory, they were right in the beginning. Which, man, that, I mean, in the beginning, that's very hard to pull off a win when you're in the beginning anyways, uh, just about any race. So what happened was, as time went by, the road conditions ac actually got better for all the rest of the competitors. And near the end, 
uh, victory didn't take the number one spot. It ended up being, and I think it was because the much better conditions, you know, not to say it's not fair, but it was uh, Team Kawasaki with their Z1000. And uh, they posted a very, very good time. So Kawasaki posted the first place victory, and this is why I'm talking about it, posted second and third. So the electric bike took second, and the Project 156 took third. So they got two podium positions. That is amazing. Their first time really at Pikes Peak, even though they had done one, the Project 156 beforehand, it was kind of just like they made the bike, all right, let's test it, and let's test it on this race. And they didn't do a good job. And the second go-round, where they actually had a more refined motorcycle, they podiumed twice. Second and third. I mean, that's great. That's amazing. It's, of course, it would have been much nicer first and second place. That would have been great. But... Victory's goal is to take over the mountain. They want American motorcycles to take over the mountain. I don't know if American motorcycling ever had the mountain. We can't be the only uh, American motorcycle that could have competed was Buell. And that wasn't exactly one of the fastest motorcycles out there. I mean, it wasn't. And they're no longer available. So, uh, yeah. So they did awesomely. I mean, it's I was so stoked when I heard it. I didn't get a I didn't get to watch it, but uh, uh, I don't know by the time I post this if they're gonna post their run or not. But there is some pictures, and I'll probably stick those up here or something. And uh, you know, that's great for for victory. You know, they're the newcomer, and they're going against all the big boys. Which is great, and that they got second and third is just amazing. I'm totally stoked. Hey, dude, there's a guitar and his dog. How cool is that? He's got little poopses with him. You know, I was reading some other articles, and Victor was, was basically saying, they said re research and development, and we all know what that means. That means they're going to make something out of it, possibly, right? There's a big chance when they're doing R&D that they're going to make something out of it. I'll let them go. And that would be great. That means Victory could possibly have a sport bike in the lineup. Now, they do already have the Impulse. That's the electric bike. Uh, we don't even have those here. I would like to find out where to, f you know, test ride one of those things. I've never ridden a, motor a motorcycle. <laughs> electric motorcycle so that would be exceptionally awesome if they released a sport bike you know i really think victory can pull off an inline four for a sport bike they've already got you know so much technology for instance just in their 106 i mean there's plenty of technology in this motorcycle that i'm riding and this engine on this motorcycle there's so much going on, but yet so little. It's got overhead cams. It's, it has chains, right? Just like these cars here. I mean, they have the same thing. The new Mustangs, what are they running? They're running overhead cams. No timing belts. They're running timing chains on them. That's what this is running. So basically, Victory set out to make what we already drive and that is already known to be reliable, and they put it in their engines. That is something great. And V-Twin Sport Bikes, if Victory were able to pull that off, I think it would be one of the fastest or like the top tier V-Twin Sport Bikes, you know, falling right after or even not, even just not, maybe faster. I mean, I think Ducati even participates in Pikes Peak and where were they at? I mean, Ducati's a racing V-Twin Sport Bike, you know, where were they? So Victory has a chance of basically making an awesome V-Twin sport bike. And that would be so cool to witness that and to possibly get to own one or ride one. I mean, just, that's amazing. That's great. 
waiting for their sport bike. If they're doing R&D on it, then certainly they're gonna make it. I mean, they've got to make it. People are, they want it. They're, they're trying to diversify their brand. They should do it. They wanna be speed. They wanna, they wanna be known for speed and reliability for the American motorcycle muscle. I mean, they should do that. Sport bikes, they need to make a sport bike. They've already, they're halfway there with the electric one. They have the body, I mean, come on. Oh, and by the way, congratulations, Apple Fusion. You are the winner of the VB ski tag. Actually, I think he's the one who wanted it in the first place. So, in his favor, he got it. <laughs> he bugged me enough, and therefore it is his. I don't mean bug like in a mean way. Actually, thank you for bugging me. And now the key tag is yours. By the time you see this video, it has already been shipped out. And it's on its way to you. This has been another random weekday video by your very own V-Beast. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Most of all, have a V-Beast day.